Hey guys, Matt here with CryptoBlick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use the ADA Lite wallet with your Trezor Model T. Um, it's fairly simple, but I do wanna show you a couple things so you can make it as, as easy as possible for you. So if that sounds good to you, let's make it happen. And oh, by the way, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, like this video if you do find it valuable, and let's get started. All right, so come on over to Trezor.io, just their normal website. And if you're ever curious, I, I did wanna show this to you. If you're ever curious um, if a uh, crypto asset is supported, just you know, click on the section where it says uh, plus a thousand more, and then you can just quickly type in what type of uh, crypto you're looking. If I can spell Cardano correctly, there we go. And it'll tell you, okay, so the Trezor one does not support it. Trezor Model T does, but the wallets you have to use currently are the ADA Lite wallet or the Iori. I don't know how you pronounce it. I just use the ADA Lite. I found that a whole lot easier to use than the other one. So if you're curious of, let's see now, what would be another one? What about Sheeb? That is a popular thing that's out right now. Um, it may not even be on here. Nah. Let's do, uh, let's do Doge. So if we had Doge, yep, okay, it's supported on the Trezor 1 and the Model T, and you can use it with the Trezor Suite or even Exodus. Uh, that is another um, mobile wallet and, and, and software wallet. Um, and then, so you can just see right away Cardano is, like I said, supported, um, but you have to use the ADA Lite wallet. So if we're gonna click on that there, okay, you're about to go to a third party wallet, that's okay. And then it's going to pull up just, you know, just making sure you're aware of all the security purposes while you're doing this here from don't lose your mnemonic, uh, work your cryptographic words to consider using a hardware wallet, things like that. Don't get fished. Continue on to ADA Lite. All right. So from here, we're then going to select which way are we going to do this. So obviously we have a Trezor T. I did a video on a Ledger uh, device as well, but for this video, it's a Trezor Model T. We're going to select that and then go on over to Unlock with Trezor. Uh, one thing to keep in mind: if you have an ad blocker, it will mess this section up here. So t make sure to turn off the ad blocker, then select Unlock with Trezor. It's gonna do its thing here. It's loading the wallet data. All right, and then it says allow permissions, okay, to read public keys on the Trezor device. You can do don't ask me again. Um, just for this purpose of this video, I'm just gonna keep it as it is. Allow once for this session. All right, and then export multiple Cardano public keys. And by the way, your Trezor Model T is just gonna have the little icon that you have selected on it already. There's nothing that you need to do on it quite yet. Do export. And then here's if you have a passphrase on your Model T, this is where you're going to put it. Um, you can see leave passphrase blank to access your default wallet. So if you just have a default wallet, just click enter. Or if you want to enter it on your actual device, click that there. But for this video, I'm just going to do enter. Um, and it, this is what you'll see right now here on the screen if you do want to enter your passphrase. So I just want to let you see that there. But I'm just going to do enter because I just want to set this up right away and show you guys. All right, there we go. So it has the latest news on uh, 8 a Lite 2.0 rebranding survey. Other things will come up in terms of the news that might be relevant to you. Click close. So once you open everything up, it's going to bring you to the send portion of the dashboard. Uh, go over to account number one. It's going to show you your available balance once you have Cardano on this actual ADA Lite wallet. And then of course your rewards if you are staking as well. Um, but you know, just like with anything guys, it's fairly simple when you want to send from your account, you put in that receiving address there. And, and, and I'll do another video for you guys because I know that'll be helpful. Um, but just for the purpose of this video, to keep it simple, put in your receiving address to where you're sending it to. The obviously leave this as ADA, that Cardano, and then select how much you want to send. It will show you the fee in order to send it. And then of course the total all together, click send, and then boom, you're done and good to go. If you want to receive, if you actually want to put Cardano onto your ADA Lite wallet, which I recommend, 
um, instead of keeping it on a uh, an exchange. Um, and then that way you are in control of your own uh, Cardano and not that, that exchange. For example, Coinbase randomly just has technical issues uh, when there are major swings in the market. So watch out for that. Um, that's why I like to keep on and keep keep a hold onto my own crypto assets instead of relying on an exchange uh, to hold those for me. So you're gonna have your QR code here. You're gonna have the uh, receiving address there as well that you can copy and paste. So it's fairly simple there. You tell the exchange or any other wallet that you may have. You put you put that copy or copy the address in or scan that QR code, and then you go through the process of sending it. Super easy, it doesn't take that long for it to be confirmed on the Cardano blockchain. And really guys, that's it. That's how you set up your ADA Lite wallet. Eh, so I changed my mind. So I'm gonna send some Cardano from my Coinbase account to ADA Lite, ADA Lite wallet and back so you guys can see how it happens. So you're gonna pull up uh, Cardano here on, on uh, Coinbase. Go to your wallet that you have, then click up at the top. You're gonna to see a airplane. Go ahead and click that. And then just select the amount that you wanna send. So I'm just gonna do 20 bucks here worth of Cardano. Continue. And then what address am I sending it to? So I'm gonna come on over to ADA Lite Wallet. Click on receive. You can either scan that QR code or copy and paste the address. Just make sure you get the full address double and triple check, just like I've told you in my other videos, if you get it incorrectly or you send it to a wrong address and let's say you send it to an Ethereum address as opposed to Cardano or Bitcoin and not Cardano, you will not be able to retrieve your funds. You can't reverse those kind of transactions on blockchain, okay? So just keep that in mind. Once you send it, it's sent. Like you can't reverse that. So please double and triple check your address whether you scan the QR code or you copy and paste that address, okay? So I'm gonna scan my QR code. I'm double checking everything on the address. Perfect, and then I'm gonna click preview send. It's gonna show me my network fee. All right, so it's about 39 cents to send 20 bucks worth. I'm gonna do send now. And then I'm gonna get a seven digit code in a text message, put that in and then click submit. All right, perfect, so it was sent successfully. Now let's go see how long it takes to come into our ADA light wallet. Let's click refresh. I've seen it take as quick as 20 seconds. So, I mean, look at that right there. I mean, that was less than 30 seconds. It hit my account. So you can see now that um, I have uh, my wallet, my total wallet balance here. I don't have any rewards because I'm not staking. You can see within my first account, I've got 9.17 ADA. Um, and then I also have a second account. So it allows you to set up different accounts um, if you want to spread out your uh, Cardano. I don't see a need for that. I figured just keep it in one wallet so that it's, you're not confusing anything. I know some people like to spread out the accounts um, and the total they have in there. So, okay, you've received that Cardano. All right, so let's go ahead and send it. So um, I'm not gonna buy and sell from Changely. Uh, for me, I've seen them have extremely high fees when you buy, especially through Ledger's suite. It's terrible. Um, I'm just gonna click refresh one more time here, make sure everything is kosher and up to date. There we go. All right, so what address is, am I sending this to? So I'm gonna need to go into my wallet address for Cardano. Go ahead and put in that address on your ADA Lite uh, sending address uh, amount there. Just double and triple check, like I said, as always, double and triple check your address so you're not sending it to the incorrect spot. Of course, ADA. And then for, for, for this, I just wanna make sure everything is back off of this ADA Lite wallet. Um, so I'm doing the max. It's going to use the max, but it's gonna take out the amount for the fee in order to send it. But you can see there, it separates the fee, shows you the amount that you will end up having in the end, what will be back on my Coinbase account. 
And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and click send. So then it says, okay, do you want to confirm this transaction? Yes, I do. Confirm the transaction. All right. And then, of course, uh, allow once for this session. And this whole time, by the way, guys, I do have my Ledger Model T still plugged in. And actually, it shows it right there. It's co confirm sending the amount to the actual address here. Uh, I can swipe and see more of that address. And then, and then OK, then confirm the transaction. So let's go ahead and click the green button. All right, shows me the fee. And then it says hold. Let's see here if you can see this here. So it's saying, you know, showing me the fee and then hold to confirm. Perfect. There we go. And that goes back to that main screen there that I have already selected. And uh, and then of course the transaction's pending in the top right here, as you can see. It is reloading the wallet, so it's refreshing the wallet. You can see it went back to zero. It says transaction was successful. And so you can see my most recent transaction history here. Um, you'll have that, excuse me, as well on your end. Um, and, and I mean, God, it's, it's that simple. It's that simple to send and receive um, your Cardano onto your ADA Lite, Lite wallet so that you have control um, of your crypto assets. As they say, not your keys, not your coins. So, you know, for example, my Cardano that's on Coinbase right now, um, if suddenly they shut everything down in a major swing, I couldn't get to them. So that is why you put it on the ADA Lite wallet so that you are in control of your own crypto assets, okay? And really, guys, that's it. That's how you set up your ADA Lite wallet. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, would you please smash that like button for me? Uh, it helps get these videos out to more people like yourself who find it helpful. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed because I know a high percentage of you are not subscribed to the channel. So do so so that you'll be notified when I release more videos. So have an awesome day, guys. Don't, don't forget to enjoy the day that you've been blessed with. Until next time over and out.